link below, there's a conversation between Justin Vakula and Michael Nugent that has the promise, at least, of being a constructive uh, discussion. Uh, to that end, I have left a comment over on Michael's blog. And I wrote, uh, this is a discussion about free thought blogs, Atheism Plus, Slime Pit, uh, all, all these types of uh, things. So I wrote, Michael, New Michael at post number 46, it's actually now post number 49, between when I started writing and ended, and ended writing, some three comments appeared, I don't know, I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, wrote, <clears throat> and I had to take several long breaks while compiling it, it being a list, because the content is so intensely hurtful, talking about comments from the slime pit. And then he wrote, I'm assuming that these people may, uh, may be indirectly tolerating it. These people, in this case, are slime pitters who don't actually write the kinds of comments under discussion here. Uh, because they are desensitized to the hurt that it conveys. <clears throat> so I, I quoted that from him, and I respond. This sounds to me as though you're saying that either, one, there is something about those statements which is inherently harmful, or two, to whatever extent that one thinks whether or not the harm perceived is entirely subjective, it remains the case that the subjective feelings of whoever takes the greatest exception are the feelings which are privileged to displace everyone else's subjective feelings. If you're saying one, then it should be a rather trivial affair to figure out that almost all people will agree on a proposition, uh, they're inherently objectively, will agree on the proposition, they're inherently objectively harmful statements, like being burned in a fire, say. I'm aware of no one who disputes that being set afire is anything other than inherently objectively harmful. But nothing, uh, but nothing like almost all people will agree that a given insult slash joke is inherently objectively harmful. Thus, one cannot be the right answer. If two is the case, then this has some obvious implications. Conversation will be the hostage of anyone who claims to find offense or perceive harm in a given statement. In so granting this proposition, one thereby allows for the most sensitive person to be the arbiter of who is a bad person and the like. They're discussing the moral implications, incidentally. Uh, and if this be the case, then I, uh, then I see no grounds on which you'd be able to escape having to accept that you're a bad person if someone claims to be harmed by, for instance, reading this article, but for your and others granting yourself or themselves the right to dismiss such a claim. And if you are free to grant yourself the right to dismiss such a claim as unreasonable, perhaps because the person is unreasonably sensitive or some such, thereby evading having to accept that, uh, that you're an immoral person, on what grounds do you deny others an equivalent right to dismiss a claim of harm arising from one saying, quote, this is one of the examples he used, you don't give a shit named person, you care about drama and how you can appear to be a moral human while doing as little as humanly possible, end quote. While it's true many people would not like such a comment, it's far from clear to me that just speaking writing those words inherently creates an injury, uh, as is the case where it said to me, it just doesn't. So that leaves me with leaning towards your meaning being something like two. And now it's merely a matter of noting that since it isn't inherently objectively harmful, the extent to which it might cause harm depends on who, in a parenthetical in this case, uh, scouring the internet to find the words in the first place, in parenthetical, who decides to take it that way. In turn, this implies that whether one is a good person or a bad person now hinges on the happenstance of who happens to A, hear slash read the words, and B, decide they've been hurt. Or, is there a three that I just entirely fail to see? I hope Michael Nugent responds, and I hope some of you go over there and comment. Uh, he's addressing this as a serious matter, he's taking it seriously, and it has all, it's, has all the promise of being a constructive, sincere argument. So I'm going to treat him in that vein. Anyway, I thought I'd draw your attention to it because it could make for some good reading over the next couple of days slash weeks. Have a great day.